Hello, welcome back. It's the Fred in the Shed channel. Fred up in the shack with the hands, of course. Now, I've just got a little bit of spare, spare time this afternoon, so I thought I'd do some more testing on these Retivest PMR radios. I did a complete full review on this dual watch radio oh, a little while ago now. It's a very nice radio. It just looks like a two meter, 70 centimeter ham radio transceiver, but it is PMR, fit half a watt with a fixed antenna, but it does have a slightly longer rubber ducky antenna that you would normally expect to find on a PMR radio. So I did some long range testing with this. We did it up to two kilometers just using my CB antenna, which I don't think is the best antenna to do, use for these tests. In the future, I haven't got time today and it's absolutely chucking down with rain at the moment, but I will be setting up this wire T2LT style antenna. This is a two meter, 70 centimeter, a DR111. So I will be getting out my fiberglass telescopic pole. We'll be setting this up in the garden. Then this will work on the correct band. And I think that when we do this test with this, this, this proper antenna, I think you'll find that the audio will be a lot stronger. Uh, at the moment, my CB antenna is bringing in the carrier signal on the FM really, really strong, but the audio is suffering because it's just not resonating my 27 megahertz antenna, and I'm transmitting on 446. So it's not the right antenna, but I thought I'd carry on today. We're going to use this uh, Lexion VV898 for the testing. But anyway, let me go down into the shed shack. Let me set all this up, and I'll explain in a little bit more detail what I'm going to be doing. Thanks for watching the intro, guys. This is going to be the setup for the long range tests on this little 11 pound radio. I'm going to be using this uh, Lexion, Lexion, Lexicon, whatever you want to call it. It's a little 2 metre, 70 centimetre ham radio. We used it on the last test. Um, it's not a legal radio. I've said this before, you, you couldn't use this and you couldn't transmit. It will tune on PMR band, but the power is, is too great. It's a, it's a 10 watt radio, so you're well over the power limit of half a watt. And if you used it on the other bands, then you'd need a ham radio license. But as a receiving radio, it is perfectly legal to use. I have this connected into my CB antenna, my Antron 99, which is mounted on the side of the house, about 30 foot up in the air. So we should get a better range, even though this is just half a watt. Not being able to turn this radio up, of course, in the programming. But we should get a little bit more range. And it would just be interesting to see how far this radio will transmit back to home with a longer antenna. So let's go out on the road and do that. Audio check, audio check at three quarters of a kilometer here, three quarters of a kilometer on an 11 pound radio. Audio check, audio check at three quarters of a kilometer here, three quarters of a kilometer on an 11 pound radio. One, two, one, two, one, two, audio, 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 audio. Audio check, audio check one two, one two on a cheap radio, on a very cheap radio. One kilometre now from the QTH. One kilometre. Audio check, audio check one two, one two on a cheap radio, on a very cheap radio. One kilometre now from the QTH. One kilometre. That's quite a shout, it struggled at a kilometre last time, so let's hope it does a little bit better. Right, let's move on. I think we'll try two kilometres, which is a pretty big ask for a 11 pound half watt radio. Right, this is a really big shout. Two kilometres in that direction, in a built up area, the antenna. Half a watt, 11 pound radio, fixed antenna. Big shout. Yeah, audio check, one, two. Audio check, one, two, one, two. 11 pound PMR radio, two kilometers. Conclusion time. Well, I think it's pretty much what I thought, and it's a bit like last time. The carrier signal, the FM carrier signal from this little half watt radio really was picked up nice by that 18 foot Antron 99 CB antenna. It is up really, really high on the side of the house. The audio was quiet, and I just think that's because 
this is on 446 megahertz and it's not resonating the antenna enough to really pick up the audio properly. It will be interesting when I do some future testing with this two meter, 70 centimeter, this little T2LT. What will be interesting is the 18 foot CB antenna is gonna pick up a strong signal. I won't be able to get this as high as the Antron 99, but this will resonate at the correct frequency. So I don't think it will be the signal won't be as strong, the carrier signal, but it, the audio wise, in theory, it should work better. In practice, height is might. I don't know, it could go, could go either way. But it's all a bit of fun. It's all about testing and experimenting. But once again, this little 618 little radio was 11 pounds from Retivis. I'm quite impressed with it. I really am. I, I did like this uh, radio. I did a full review on this. If you've missed it, I'll leave a little pop-up at the end. I'll probably put it in the description as well if you want to go away and look at the review on this radio because it's quite amazing what you get for £11 nowadays, what they can do. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Just a little bit of fun in the afternoon. There's the old fun from Fred. Thanks, as always, for your view time. It's such a small channel. I get so little views. I do appreciate it, unlike some of the larger channels channels nowadays that are very blasé about it. Nothing like that here. Thank you for your view time. Do appreciate it. Please stay safe, guys. Just a little bit dodgy out there with things at the moment. And yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.